Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back again with another laptop and today's laptop we have an HP 15 model. This specific model is an HP 15-F023WM. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to replace the keyboard if one of your keys are not working and you just want to replace it. I'll leave the link in the video description and I'm going to show you guys step by step how to remove the keyboard. All right. The tool and before we start, this service applies for any F series model. So if you have an HP 15-F, whatever number after that, this applies for that. All right, the tool that you're going to be needing is a screwdriver set. I use the iFixit tool set and because of the bits are S2 class steel and we're going to be using uh, Phillips number one from this tool set. Also, you will need an opening tool. For the opening tool, I use my always trusty guitar pick. Use any metallic guitar pick. These are really handy and soft edges, so they're really suitable to opening electronics. All right. First thing first, you want to power off the laptop, make sure the power is completely off. Uh, all you need to do is flip it upside down and you do not need to remove the battery. But if you want to be paranoid to remove the battery, pull the trigger to this side, make sure it's on lock, po on lock position. Pull the other trigger back and pull the battery out. All right. Next, what you want to do to remove this tiny screw which has a keyboard is a logo right beside it right in the middle so go ahead and remove this screw and that will be the last screw you'll be removing next you want to open it up you want to grab your guitar pick and you want to stick it right by the f7 and you just want to flip it up or do it by f2 f1 go right down by the delete all the way to the corner once you get it right here just slowly wiggle it around, pull it up. And there's a little trigger right here. Just make sure you pull it towards the screen. Bring it in this position, flip it over. Now you're gonna see the flex cable and you're gonna see the jack right here. To let it remove it, don't pull on the cable. Make sure you first put your nail, fingernail right at the back where the uh, black plastic is and flip it 90 degrees toward the ceiling. And it's kind of a bit hard, so take, be careful. Just pull it up and now it's loose. And now you can slide the keyboard backward. And there we go. I'll try to get the link for this keyboard. Let's say that you get the new keyboard. You want to place it in the same position. Flat lay down, make sure the space bar is right here. Flip it over. Grab the flex cable, bring it to offset position. Clean the contact, make sure the lock is upward. Slide the jack all the way in. Make sure it's evenly in, and then you will just want to close down this lock right on top. Once you finish with that, it's slowly, gently bring it over. Push down the bottom end down all the way in. Grab it from the middle, so you want to give this curvature to the side. Make sure you put the sides down in here, all the way in, and hold it. And put the other side in, make sure you hit those clicks. Now you can let go and push it on the top part and you should hear those tiny clips clicking. Once you got that in there, just close the lid, flip it upside down, and put the last screw in. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out to replace your keyboard. And if it did, please click, click that like button and think about subscribing. It really helps and motivates me to make more videos and take requests from you guys. And again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.